Okay, today we're going to be talking about um, AutoCAD MEP 3D modeling, and uh, specifically we're going to be talking about panels, switchboards, and the sizes that they come in at. Um, so when you first start AutoCAD MEP, you go to electrical here, you have the options of inserting panels right here, and so when you click on this, um, if you pull up Style Browser, or you go to Properties, just double click right here, then you can get to Style Browser here, you can then um, select the plan view representation of that panel and we're going to be talking about how we can actually create a new one of these today i have not done this yet but i have actually done the other thing i'm about to show you which is then um specifically i was trying to insert switchboards here and i need to bring in an um square d qed eyeline with um these values here 36 by 48 now out of the box we don't have that option so and so we'll go up here to switchboard it's going to open up a new dialog box for us here i'll bring it over um you can see that it's pulling from it's it's they're called multi-view parts is what we're going to be inserting here and it's pulling in from our u.s imperial catalog so when you install autocad mep we have a um, catalog uh, several catalogs that we can pull from um, with out of the box solutions that or that uh, autodesk has provided for us and one of them here is switchboards. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the circuit breaker switchboard. And these are the only sizes that we have here. So then um, you quickly realize, you know, this, is, this isn't going to work. So then you can come over here to content builder. So you can get to that either by typing it in down here or piping actually has it. So I'll just go to content builder. Um, and again, these are multi-view parts. So we're in the multi-view part. We're in switchboards. We're looking at this catalog. I'm going to select that and we, we have the option of adding part size or modifying part size um, and you'll quickly realize I don't know what this error means we're going to quickly realize that this is not very helpful to us in terms of actually modifying um, or adding sizes so down here we'll hit add part size and you can quickly see that these are the only options that we have now I just created this one right here it's 48 by 36 and so today we're going to talk about how you can um, create that so first thing I tried was to just modify the block that this 3D um, multi-view part is created from. So this is a multi-view part. However, it references a 3D block. So I, you know, in this drawing, I, I did B edit on this block. And so, you know, I pulled open this 36 by 36 model, this one right here. I made some changes on it. Um, I used the extrude faces um, right here. And then I removed this face and I do one foot and it modifies it that way. And then you would then come here to block editor and do say block as. However, um, that, that will create the block in this drawing. However, it will not, you will not then be able to add it through content builder. It just never populates into that drop down that we were just talking about a moment ago. So, where you need to go to actually get this drop down to populate with a block that you just created is actually where this catalog is saved at. And um, it actually took me a second to find where it's, where it's saved at here, but um, uh, let's see if we can go back here. Okay, so it's program data, Autodesk, MEP, MEP content. See, before I was going to tool catalogs, you want to go to MEP content? And then I guess it's USI maybe, electrical, this doesn't look right. Maybe it was global. We're just gonna go back, okay. Okay, it is, it is USI and then you go to multi-view parts. That's what I was missing before, then electrical and then we want to go to switchboards and then the one that we were just talking about is the circuit breaker switchboard. So then I'm going to open up this DWG. You're going to do your B edit in here. So this is the one I actually just made a moment ago. Um, I wasn't able to make it look exactly like these other ones because they've done a union on these. And so when you did a B, a B edit on this, um, it actually is a 3D solid and you, you cannot um, edit that. I don't know why they would make it non-modifiable, but fair enough. Um, so I made my new my new size here. I, I saved it as um, this name right here, 48 by 36. And then now when I'm going into my project here, 
Um, I go to add a size that is now populating. So that is how you create a new size. And I believe something similar should work for um, making the <laughs> changing the plan view representation of panels. Um, and then so walking back through the content builder, we're going to try to finish this off here. I've not done this part before, but uh, I think it should work. So we're going to hit add part size here. We're going to go to 48 by 36. And then down here, I'm going to populate this as well. I'm going to hit generate blocks and hopefully this works for us. Oops. All right, and I had to pause to take a call, so I don't remember exactly where I left off on this, but um, you'll hit the generate blocks, you'll select your part size here, and I believe a few directions. We will have to see on this, well, I guess. Yeah, I think that if you just hit okay here, it's gonna generate all this. Um, yeah, I think we're going to be good. So we'll hit OK here. And it's now generated those blocks. So now if we actually go into that drawing that we were in earlier, um, I think that we're going to see all these additional blocks in there. Then we'll hit Next. Do that. I think we're fine on connectors. Um, and then yeah, we'll go ahead and finish and we should be good to go here. So now when I come back over here to electrical, we should be able to insert a larger switchboard. And we'll test this out. Put this guy in there. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that took me a lot longer to figure out than I would like, but now that we've figured it out, we can, that, that's going to be the, the framework to work from going forward when editing um, any of the stuff that, that is pre-existing. Um, perfect example is going to be your MCC centers. We don't have the sizes that we need um, in terms of Allen Bradley standards. So um, however, the, the blocks themselves from the 3D representation um, are what we are looking for. So um, that's kind of going to be our framework and um, we'll go from there. The only thing I guess that we could improve upon is those when you when you edit them in the DWG um, and you're editing them in block editor um, they are 3d solid so a lot of that detail you cannot you can't stretch it you can't duplicate it um, which I, I guess that's just something we have to work around